All right, welcome back to our series on Microsoft OneNote from TeacherCast University. We are here exploring everything about Microsoft OneNote to help you use it into your classrooms. I'm here with my good friend Ari. Ari, how are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing well. Tell us a little bit about what we're going to be learning today. So we're going to be talking a little bit about how you can use page templates in order to take the work that you've already created, replicate it, and save you a ton of time in creating new lesson plans, new documents, all within OneNote, and then being able to share them out with other people who might want to use those same templates. So these are page templates that you create from scratch? Page templates you create from scratch or borrow from other folks within your school. It's really easy to just take a page template and make it something that you can replicate across an entire OneNote notebook. And I would assume it'd be easy to share a page template, say if you're an administrator and you wanted to share that out with your staff. Absolutely. I mean, the, the great thing about OneNote is it's collaborative, so you can share pages within a shared notebook. And so having a page template within a shared notebook means that anyone can just grab that template, start filling it out themselves, customize it, and then make it a template with that customized version. Now, these templates, I'm assuming, can use multimedia, pictures, video as well? Leverages all of the great things that you have with OneNote that we showed you in previous episodes where you can have different multimedia, office documents, audio, video, uh, websites, all those different things can be inserted into these page templates. So no limitations. Great. Show us how this works. So what I have here is a OneNote lesson plan template. And so what I have is I have just different boxes that have been inserted into the OneNote page in that flexible canvas that we've talked about before. And so what it allows me to do is just start figuring out, you know, what does my lesson plan look like? So if I want to make sure that each of my lesson plans has a specific structure, I can add these different boxes in, add separate tags. So maybe my scope and sequence is, you know, math, curriculum for a Grade. And I want to make sure that each of my templates has that in there. And maybe there's a document I want to insert into there. I can do that as well. But for now, I'm just going to take this template and I'm going to use it across other classes that I might be planning for. And so in order to do that, I just click the Insert tab, go to Page Templates, and it opens up a new pane on the right-hand side. And so there's some pre-canned templates here, specifically for academic, if I wanted like lecture notes or class notes. These are very student-focused. Let's say we want this more teacher-focused lesson plan template. And so what we can do is say, save current page as template. So we hit that, and we'll call this one lesson plan template. And then we check this box saying, set as the default for new pages in this current session section. I hit save, and then I can exit out of this, and every time I select a new page, it creates another template with that exact structure that I predefined in my lesson plan template. And so then maybe I say, you know, lesson plan one, and I can create a new one, and it's lesson plan two. And then, then you know, as you start filling them out, I'll jump over here, and you can see what a rich filled out lesson plan might look like with documents and text and links and images all within that lesson plan template. And so you don't have to keep starting from scratch. You have those templates all available to you just via that page templates pane. And so when you want to, you can just take that lesson plan template. Maybe we have our lesson plan template up here. We could just copy it and we could bring that into a shared notebook. Say I have a like a staff notebook. I bring that over here into maybe my sixth grade math lesson plans I want to share with the rest of my group. And I can just hit right click and go paste. And there's my lesson plan template right within my shared staff notebook so that other teachers can leverage it within their lesson planning work. So now that you've seen lesson planning, another example of how you can use page templates within a school environment is for a principal or maybe vice principal using tide charts. So we'll go over to this other section in our staff notebook called tide charts. And you can see that there are 
different weeks of tide charts. And what are tide charts? Tide charts are basically a table with students' names and advisors' names so that you, a principal or vice principal or any other staff in the school can get an understanding of how different students are doing throughout the, the school week. And so what you can see here is there's different students filled in uh, with their advisor name and their notes for that week. So if we want to, we can easily create a page template for each week of tide chart. And so again, we just go to our page templates. It opens up that pane. We can say save current page as a template. We can call it our tide charts template. That as the default for the section. And then we just create a new page for week five. And maybe we just remove everything in, in here for the notes for the week, but we keep our students. We change this to maybe the 15th through the, uh, what would that be, the 21st? And so then we have that easily accessible new template with the tide chart. And so everyone in the school is up to date and can work together on this tide chart and updating the status on each of the students. So that's two examples of using page templates to be able to uh, easily replicate some of the work that you've done in OneNote. The last example I'll give is with meeting notes. And so with meeting notes, what's great is you can have meeting note templates. So if you're working with your other staff and teachers and maybe a principal superintendent, you can work together within a meeting notes template like this August 2014 template that we have here. And in the same way I just had a template for the uh, tide charts and the lesson plans, I can create a template out of this meeting, brand it with your school logo or have um, specific Members of the uh, members of the staff listed out here to make sure that you have an accurate attendance record. Those are all possibilities that you can use with templates. So there's really no limit to what you can do with templates. Um, it's really just based on your creativity. Ari, right, there seems to be a lot of things that you can do here with templates. What if you're just starting out? Are there templates pre-made for teachers? Yeah, absolutely, Jeff. Actually, if you go into that page templates pane, there's a number of different examples specifically for academic uses. There's some for personal uses like planners and decorative and others that you can just search through. Um, one of my favorites is actually using some of the um, academic templates like the lecture notes or the, or the class notes ones, and those can easily be clicked on and then customized to your needs. Um, it's great because it, it gives you a little bit of a starting point for you to then tweak to whatever uh, specific needs you have, whether that's as a principal or a teacher or a student. All right, let me throw one more at you here. Sure. We we're talking about how to make a template from a page. If I was looking one level higher, can I make a notebook with multiple pages as a template that you know may or may not have manipulative manipulatives? Or is the template feature strictly page by page based inside of a notebook? Yeah, so right now um, the template feature is only for pages. Got it. Um, can I make but it actually? In, in, One of the things that we're working on, I can, and I can say this, um, is that we're working on a feature that will allow you to create a template, publish it online. So maybe, you know, all of like a lesson plan template that you want to publish online as an entire notebook of lessons and then allow someone to then click a button and grab the entire notebook to personalize themselves as just a copy. Okay. So that's, that's something we're working on. So I can speak to, you know, it's at a page template level right now. But we're thinking about creating notebook templates that any teacher or student or administrator could share out on the web and then someone can grab it from there. So Ari, it certainly does seem like the page templates is a major and powerful feature of Microsoft OneNote. Yeah, it certainly is. And I think it's something that differentiates it from the rest of the Office suite and any other products out there because you really just leverage the work you've already done. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Please check out this and all of our other online courses on Microsoft OneNote.